Welcome back to the Dragon's Den. I'm your host, and Dragon Lord, and this is the finale of the Radical Red Randomizer Nuzlocke Challenge. It's been a long run. There's been like what? I forget, was it like six or seven attempts before this? And none of those even got me past Sylphco. Now we're at the Indigo Plateau, about to take on the Elite Four. And I have to say, I'm proud of how far we've come. In the last episode, we made a team. But the issue was, the issue was, we had three darks and a steel. Which means Bruno would have been a huge problem. Indeed. So, with that being said, we switched it up just a little bit. We took out the Crocodile, and we replaced it with an Al the Alakazam that we got as our last encounter. Turns out that was a real lucky encounter because it, barring any focus sashes, which I still have to research whether or not each one of the or each one of the threats that I'm worried about actually has a focus sash. The the Urshifus might and the Marshadow might, so I have to just double check and make sure that they don't have anything like that. Um, so, but yeah. Alakazam outspeeds everybody and one hit KO KOs them. And even if they get an attack off, we have a focus sash. So. Okay. <sighs> no matter how this goes, whether we win or whether we lose, this is the last episode of this particular run. Let's go. Lorelai's first, and whether she uses her hail team or her rain team, I feel like this team is perfectly capable of taking her out with no deaths. Barring any, like, untimely crits or some bullshit like that. <sighs> Let's go. Hail. Okay. So we know how to handle this. We've prepared for both. So, we know that the Ninetales is most likely going for Aurora Veil. So what we're going to do, is we're make it evolving the Duraludon, hitting the Glaceon with Steel Beam, and we're going to switch in Tyranitar. That way they can't set up the Aurora Veil, and the Glaceon will go down to a Steel Beam. And we'll, have, we'll be amazingly set up. fails because there's no hail up. A fucking Draco Meteor of uh, steel moves, except I don't have to worry about any recoil, which is nice. Steel Beam one-hit KOs Calyrex. So we'll go ahead and hit the Calyrex. And we'll go ahead and rock slide. That should do a that should do a good chunk to the to the nine tails. However, the hail is back up again, so. And I've already made it evolve my Titanium, so I can't just make it evolve Tyranitar and expect, you know, yeah. Okay, Aurora Veil no longer an issue, unless she's got. Oh, I think actually, actually, I think a Snow can set it up, but but she's more than likely gonna bring out her Rotom and uh, what's the other one? I know she's got a Zumaril, right? Azumarill. The Azumarill sees a kill on Tyranitar with Player Rough. So we're going to Steel Beam and 
Oh, wait. I didn't ask you who that target was. Just want to make sure I'm not hitting myself right now. I want to be able to reset up the Sandstorm later, so let's go ahead and switch. If we're expecting play rough, definitely not coach. We'll go... We'll go Tombstone, I guess. Good news is, we'll get rid of huge power that way. Fucking nice. Now we'll get an Intimidate on him. And that should guarantee that we live. I think that thing is an assault vest. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it does nothing. Cool. Paralysis in a fucking row. Still managed no deaths whatsoever. That Rotom was really annoying. <laughs> oh, no deaths. You're better than I thought. Go ahead. So I know she's gonna offer to heal me. All of them will. And until I lose a Mon, I'm gonna say yes each time. But once I lose a Mon, I can't do it anymore. Bruno of the Elite Four. I 
I should have loved with Alex Sam, shouldn't I? Because unless that Infernape is sashed, Psychic would have KO'd it. <sighs> oh well, it's fine. Well, it's fine. I need it for the Urshifu and whatnot anyway. I don't need it sashed being broken. Infernape, okay. Now, at minus one, Close Combat does, I think, 50%. At plus one defense, it does 30%. So, I can survive two, and then swing back with a Drain Punch and get some of my HP back. So, let's, let's just go ahead and do that. Stealth Rock, Flareless, Close of Combat? Or does it not even have a fire move? Because I know it's got Close Combat, at least. Go ahead and Will-O-Wisp. I was expecting him to switch, to be honest, but... Okay, so, we're in a bit of a pickle. See, I needed Alakazam out as soon as the Archer did. <sighs> I was trying to do some calculations to prepare for this, but Urshifu Choice Band. I don't know if it's actually choice band or not, but uh, Kofa, Grigus, uh, PU defensive, eighty-five, eighty. Oh, excuse me, eighty-five. I don't think it'll matter because it's a guaranteed crit. Yeah, Wicked Blow always one hit KOs. And Sucker Punch is a thing. What about? What if it's not Choice Band though? What if it's just like Life Orb? That's not guaranteed. What if it's got nothing like that? Lagging Tail. Um, let's go King's Rock. It never when it KOs unless it's Life Orb or Choice Band. <sighs> Do we fucking risk that though? Oh wait, if it's Choice Band though and it locks itself into close combat, it has to switch anyway. So yeah, this is the correct play. So, that's just Will-O-Wisp, right? Okay, it is Choice Banded. So uh, it makes it a little easier to play around. Okay. So. Let's 
Let's just try to see if it's guts. I don't think it's guts. I think it's Iron Fist. But we'll see. I need you to hit. Okay. Okay. Stellar is a huge fucking
so it's trying to taunt now. And because of Magic Guard, I'm not taking damage from Sandstorm or Stealth Rock, so my Focus Sash is still intact. Um, so we're going to go ahead and uh, Psychic. Okay. Adios, coach. Mega Lucario, uh oh, excuse me, Lucario, and it's not special, it's physical, uh, I'm guessing it's a Swords Dance variant, uh, so let's just go ahead and we will Psychic, Dazzling Gleam, Energy Ball, And uh, Shadow Ball, right? Yeah, that's the moveset. 
And you are now minus one special defense. And you're both at level 85. Psychic one hit KOs. Okay. Solid. We got this. Oh my god, wait. Hold up. This thing could potentially break my focus sash, couldn't it? This thing has Sucker Punch, the run's over. Scarf locked into fucking U turn.
Alternatively, I could just heal, knowing that those three are dead and I can't use them. So if these three die, the run's over. That way I can at least get my power points back up, but it is what it is. That just makes it too complicated, though. I have three more trainers. Spectre is gonna sweep me. <sighs> yeah, this is where we sweep, boys. Or this is where we get swept. sure to do some more radical red i don't know if i want to i don't know if i'm going to do another another randomizer nuzlocke or not i might try some monotype challenges i have not decided yet but i want to thank you so much for watching this series i had a great time making it and i made it pretty freaking far considering like i said we'll we'll probably try to do a 
a uh, ra uh, randomized Nuzlocke again, but it, it probably won't be for a bit. I'll probably try some other things with Radical Red first, just to spice things up a bit. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next series. Peace out, guys. Hold on. Okay, I'm still not dead. I'm gonna die, like, no question about it. But Tyranitar, with Assault Vest and Sandstorm, survived a plus one, two, just back for your Shadow Ball, right? I mean, don't get me wrong, it's done now. Like, this thing's in a Shadow Sneak and I lose, but... Still, that was pretty awesome way to end it. With Tyranitar, just like that last... Oh, well, Shadow Ball. But yeah, just to have that last little act of defiance, just like, nope, not... Nope, not to you. Alright, anyway, back to what I was saying. See you, catch you guys in the next series. Peace out.